I can hear you, and in a second, now I can see you. Uh, I am absolutely ready to start. Uh, yes, I guess. I don't know if there's a specific proposal that you're reacting to or whether this is just a general um, kind of think piece, but uh, generally it's about the Wisconsin Constitution's reference to slavery. Yes. Okay, sure. Well, um, you are absolutely correct that the Wisconsin Constitution does contain a recognition of slavery to this day. Um, it's, in some ways, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I can understand, in other ways, the symbolic importance of, of uh, individuals who want to remove any reference to slavery from the Constitution. Um, what, what the Constitution says is that the institution of slavery shall not exist except in cases of persons who've been convicted of a crime. Um, now, this does not mean that a judge can uh, sentence someone to being a slave. Uh, that's not what it means at all. Um, but what it means is that if you are imprisoned um, and you are um, uh, forced to do labor uh, in the course of your imprisonment, um, then uh, you can't claim that you are enslaved and, and being forced into slave labor in violation of the constitutional ban on slavery. So it creates this exception for people who are imprisoned. Um, and at the time, 1848, when uh, the Wisconsin Constitution and the uh, uh, subsequent 13th Amendment in the uh, 1870s, when these provisions were put in place, uh, it was uh, still thought that uh, forced labor was a means of rehabilitating prisoners. Um, and so uh, through hard work, um, people who had criminal uh, inclinations might be reformed. Um, we no longer believe that. And in fact, today, prisoners um, are often uh, given work opportunities or even sometimes uh, called to engage in labor, um, but for minimal amounts of money. It's not at no cost, um, below minimum wage, some minor compensation. Um, so what people are saying in some states is, look, um, we shouldn't recognize any slavery. We shouldn't permit any sort of forced labor to exist. And in fact, um, there's great symbolic importance in eliminating the entire concept of slavery uh, from the Constitution. Um, and so I can understand their point of view as well. So to circle around to where I started, um, it's not a big deal in my opinion, but it does have symbolic importance to eliminate the idea. Well, the, the process for amending our constitution is um, straightforward. It's not easy. Um, language has to be uh, passed and approved by the state legislature, uh, not just once, but in two consecutive sessions. And then that language has to be approved by a majority of the population in, in a vote. And we just amended the Wisconsin Constitution uh, this last uh, uh, spring election uh, when the so-called Marcy's Law, dealing with the rights of victims of crime, was added to the Constitution. So that's an example of the process going forward. And so if you wanted to remove any reference of slavery being permitted, that's what it would require. Uh, language um, uh, rewriting that provision of the Wisconsin Constitution being passed in two successive state legislative sessions and then being put to a vote of the people and approved by a majority. Well, I think um, in general, um, 
there have been some arguments, some legal challenges brought um, concerning uh, mandatory requirements being akin to slavery and therefore unconstitutional. Uh, I know in the in the um, case of lawyers, um, jurisdictions that require lawyers to uh, give a certain number of hours of free legal services to the public, what we call pro bono, um, have sometimes been challenged as a form of slavery, enforced labor. Um, but when it comes to um, lawsuits by prisoners, um, people who are incarcerated, um, there have been some lawsuits, but typically um, courts have upheld um, the, uh, the treatment of prisoners. Uh, what actually I, I predict would be if we did eliminate the current language, um, which created the possibility of, of uh, forced labor for prisoners, if we eliminated it, then I actually think we'd see more lawsuits by prisoners uh, challenging uh, what they were forced to do while incarcerated. Um, so it actually eliminating the constitutional provision might lead to more litigation, not less. Well, the only thing I'll say is that you know, constitutions, uh, a state constitution or the federal constitution, they are our foundational documents. Um, they really are a statement of the bedrock principles on which a society is founded. And so I really understand the impetus to eliminate any sort of language in that foundational document in Wisconsin that might be construed as uh, accepting or condoning slavery as an institution for anyone. So I understand the symbolic power of wanting to eliminate it. Um, I simply say, in my opinion, the Pua uh, seeing your story. Okay, great. You're welcome. Take care. Bye.